Change in leadership soon may be coming to GRU. At tonight's meeting, members of the board unanimously approved hiring a recruitment firm to move forward with the search for a new CEO. tv 20s Kayla Lewis tells us why some residents feel this search is a waste of time and money. At the GRU meeting, some residents voiced their concern about the search for a new CEO, but the board decided to move forward anyways. I think this is very hasty and premature. Residents like Nancy Darren filled the GRU meeting with concerns of the board's plan to search for a new CEO. However, after going back and forth between multiple options, the board moved forward with GRU's procurement office and selected Mykoff Fry, a recruitment firm that specializes in utilities. A motion was also made to appoint Eric Lawson as chairperson of the search with a consulting group. First things first, the bo this board is very new. They don't even have a full board seated yet. Um, they don't have their rules in place, so how can they start throwing the baby out with the bathwater? Chair Craig Carter says he was the one who prompted the search. It was me, I guess. I mean, it was the reading of the law. The law says that we will hire the general manager CEO. So I interpreted that, which other people also did, that he's interim until we make that decision. Conducting a search will cost between twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars. Current CEO Tony Cunningham is invited to reapply. Stability was mentioned many times tonight. We need someone that's going to be a long-term person, and it could very well could be Tony. He will go through the process, but we want someone that can unite the uh, employees build trust with our ratepayers in the city and out in the county. Carter says the search could take up to six months. There was supposed to be a discussion to have a joint meeting with the city commission, but James Coates did pull that off the agenda. In the studio, Kayla Lewis, TV 20 News.